When we stretched the rubber band, we did work. When we released the rubber band, we got the work back. When we did that with the rail, we got the work back in the form of energy of motion, kinetic energy. When we have the rubber band stretched, it has the potential to give something kinetic energy. When we release it, we do get the kinetic energy. So we say that the work done is the potential energy of the rubber band. And remember that work was one-half kx squared, where k is the force constant of the rubber band. That force constant, remember, is measured in newtons per centimeter of stretch. If we graph W equals one-half kx squared, we get a section of a parabola. So that graphing the work or potential energy of the rubber band, which is one-half kx squared versus the pullback, gives us this blue curve. Now we also set another scale with the vertical and horizontal. Uh, the horizontal is still going to be our pullback, but the vertical is going to be delta s of the rail after release. When we do the observations, when we take our actual data, we do get a curve that looks very much like this. If we set the scale here just right, this curve will just about coincide with the, this ideal curve, this one-half kx squared curve. Just by adjusting the scale of our red graph, leave the scale of our blue graph alone, uh, we can make these graphs match. This tells us that the delta s of the rail after release seems to be proportional to the potential energy of the rubber band. And we've seen that since the force that has to be exerted by that rail as it moves is constant, that in order to get the force times distance product that will dissipate this much energy, delta S has to be the thing that changes. And delta S has to go along with potential energy. So to summarize the situation, we say that the rail gets energy one-half kx squared from the rubber band. That energy is dissipated as F delta S, where F is the constant force against friction. Since the F delta S has to equal the one-half kx squared, then the delta S is going to be the one-half kx squared divided by F. F is constant. K is constant, one half is constant, so that we see that delta S is simply proportional to X squared. And that's again why when we pull the rubber band back twice as far, the one half KX squared becomes four times as great, so the delta S has to be four times as great since the force is unchanging.